In today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Hairbuster comb. So I have heard so many good things about the Hairbuster comb, but I didn't buy it for a really long time because I felt like there was probably something cheaper that worked just as good and it was just so expensive that I really wasn't sure if I wanted to spend $20 on just one comb. So I didn't buy it for a long time, but then finally about a week ago I decided I was just going to do it. So I paid $20 for this comb right here. There we go. So I've tried it out and now I'm going to kind of tell you guys my thoughts on it and tell you if I think you guys should buy it, if I think it's worth your money and all of that stuff. I'm going to talk about all the pros and cons, so let's get into it. So first I want to talk about just the comb. So as you can see, it is just like these wire teeth and then it has um, this purple like... I don't know what to call it. This purple thing <laughs> woven through the comb to help grab the fur and hold on to it. And then it has this nice handle. Um, this is all metal. And then this is like, I think, wood or something. And I think it only comes in purple. Uh, that's the only color I've seen. So I'm assuming that is the only color you can get it in. And I got this from Small Pet Select for about $20. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the pros and cons. One of the pros is that it is a very sturdy brush. I don't think this is like ever gonna break. It seems very sturdy. It's pretty heavy. It's not like heavy, heavy, but like it feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap and light. I also like the size of the handle. It's very comfortable to hold. I have another comb that I got for like $4 and the handle is very, very short. It's like that short and it's really hard and uncomfortable to hold. So I do like this is big enough and easy to hold. So I don't know if you can tell here, but the tips are rounded. So they're not gonna like hurt your rabbit's skin because rabbits have a very delicate skin and you want to make sure whatever comb or brush you're using is not um, sharp because that can really hurt their skin. So one of the pros for me is that it's purple because I love purple but that can also be kind of a con because not everyone likes purple so and like I said I think that's the only color it comes in. Now I will say that this comb does pull a little bit just because it kind of has to pull to be able to get the fur out but Brenny doesn't like when her fur pulls and although I was very very gentle when I was grooming her it still pulls. Basically the only con is that it is quite expensive. Like I said, it is about $20 everywhere I have found it. And that's pretty expensive, especially for if you're a kid and you don't make as much money. It can be a lot of money to invest into just one comb and you may be wondering, is it worth it? That's what I'm gonna talk about now. So I tried this comb out on Brenny for the first time a few days ago and she is not in a big shedding period right now. Rabbits are always shedding, but they do have certain times of the year where they're shedding a lot more than other times. And right now she's not shedding as much as she would be at like the end of winter. So considering that, this did get a very good amount of fur off. I will pop a picture somewhere around here. Um, I took a picture of all the fur that I got out and this was from probably like a 15 or 20 minute session, probably not even that. So it was very efficient for how short amount of time I spent grooming her. So I definitely think this is worth your money because like I said, in just like 15 minutes or less, I was able to get a good sized pile of fur off of her and she wasn't even shedding that much. I'm really excited to see what it does when Brenny is in like a bigger molt 
Um, I'm very excited to see how much it can get off then. One thing I think is worth mentioning is that Bernie does not like being brushed. She just does not enjoy getting groomed. She doesn't like getting her nails clipped. She doesn't like getting groomed. She just doesn't like any of that stuff. So for that reason, I actually really like this comb because it's able to get the job done a lot faster so she doesn't have to be sitting there for as long as she would have to be with another comb. I also took a clip comparing my two combs. So the other one is like, I don't even know what brand it is. It's just some cheap little like $5 comb I got from a pet store and it gets basically nothing out compared to this one got like a lot out. So I am going to leave a link in the description box below where you can buy this comb. Now this link is an affiliate link which means from qualifying purchases, I will earn a small percentage at no extra cost to you. So I would really appreciate if you guys are going to buy this comb, if you would purchase it through that link because it really helps support our channel and all the money we earn from that does go towards improving our equipment and our setup and everything. So thank you to everyone who's helping support our channel. We really appreciate it. So yeah, that is pretty much all overall. I really like this comb and I definitely recommend it. Um, I will hopefully have some more updates on it in the future um, when Brenny starts molting more and I can really put this comb to the test. I will hopefully have a video on that. But for now, that is about all I have to say. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have this comb and if you like it. And subscribe for more videos. I will see you guys very soon. Bye!